Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sitting here in front of you very naked. Um, but today we're gonna be doing my drugstore kind of full coverage, flawless, regular foundation routine. Um, I have some really exciting products to go through. Um, all extremely affordable that can be found at Ulta, Walmart, Target, CVS, Rite Aid, etc. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. This is kind of one of my go-to foundation routines. I use it all the time. It's super easy. Um, so yeah, today we're just going to focus on the face. So if you're interested in seeing how I get my flawless full coverage routine with drugstore products, then go ahead and keep watching. Let's get this show on. Okay, so the first step of any foundation routine is obviously primer. So I'm going to go in with my Soap & Glory One Heck of a Blot. This is the Instant Perfecting Power Primer with Shine Block 12 Hour Matte Spheres and Pore Shrink Technology. So I actually love this primer. This is kind of one of my go-to products. Um, I use this all the time. And it feels almost like a moisturizer, but it does keep me matte for a really long time. So I just take kind of like a few size amount and I'm just gonna go ahead and work this into my skin. Really focusing the majority of it into my T-zone. So now that we are all primed up, we're gonna go ahead and move in to foundation. And this is challenging for me to just pick one that I really like. I like to think of myself as like a drugstore foundation Connoisseur. I feel like I've tried every single one of them. I have an opinion on every single one of them. Um, I'm a big drugstore foundation person, but I feel as though the majority of them are getting a lot better. Um, it used to be a really big challenge for me to be able to find a product at the drugstore I really liked and looked good on my skin. Um, but I know my skin has been changing, but I think that they're starting to get really good. So there's some awesome options. I think I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Matte High Def Longwear Matte Foundation. I've been kind of playing around with this one and trying to test it out. Um, so this is in the shade Medium Beige. And I'm going to take that on my Real Techniques sponge. This is already damp. Um, and I'm just going to pump out one pump to start with. So I did about one and a half pumps. And with this, I realized you have to work really quickly. Um, but it is, it is a good foundation. always struggle with at the drugstore just because I use the Tarte Shape Tape and that's my favorite. It's so full coverage, it's an awesome, awesome product. So I'm always struggling to find something at the drugstore that will dry that matte and have that much coverage. Um, but right now my favorite concealer at the drugstore is this Superstay Better Skin um, by Maybelline, the concealer, um, and this is in the shade 10 Ivory. Um, I found this is a pretty good product. It does have a decent amount of coverage, um, and it obviously is a lot cheaper. Um, it doesn't have quite as much oomph as I wish it did, but it, it does the trick. And I just go in and put a little bit extra product than I would typically use with my Tarte Shape Tape or something like that. But um, I like it. I think it does a really, really good job. For the price point, I cannot complain. So again, I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge and just blend this into my fabric. drier than normal due to the weather and I think it's just changing as I get older. So um, I like just a quick setting powder that I can dust on with like a big fluffy brush. Um, nothing that's too crazy that I have to sit there and 
I typically only bake for like a special occasion where I need my makeup to last for like 12 hours. Um, but to set my face, I just take the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and this is in Naturally Neutral. Um, I like this one because it's not too harsh. Sometimes the translucent or white color can give me a little bit of a flashback. And I don't know, I this one just is a little bit soft. And just really focus on setting my T-zone. After I set my face, I like to go ahead and bronze. Um, so my favorite bronzer at the moment is this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, this stuff. Oh my God, you need to go buy one of these just so you can smell how good it is. It smells like sunscreen and the ocean and the beach. I love putting this on my face. Um, and this is in the shade Deep. Deep bronzer? Deep, I don't know. Um, but this is such a nice, I mean, the packaging literally describes it, a butter bronzer. It's so creamy, so blendable. It's such an awesome product. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, and I'm just taking that on my Morphe M527 brush. And I'm just gonna go in and kind of warm up my face a little bit. Um, not necessarily contour with this. You can contour. Sometimes I do when I'm feeling lazy, but um, I just like to kind of hit the perimeter. Um, and you want to just bronze those areas where the sun would naturally hit you. For contour, I use a Wet n Wild product and I don't remember what this is called. If you go to Walmart or something in the Wet n Wild section, there's these split pans. One side is a banana shade and then the other side is this contour shade. Um, I think this is in Dulce, Dulce de Leche, something like that. Um, but this is the contour shade and I just ripped it out and put it in a Z palette because I broke the compact, unfortunately. But the banana powder that goes along with this is also super, super good. Um, but so this is the shade I like to use to contour. Um, it's ashy but not too ashy um, and I'm gonna take that on an or Morphe M530 brush so next moving on to blush and I am a huge fan of the wet and wild color icon blushes um, I have three right here this is one of the newer packaging ones I think this is in like champagne or something like that but I love these blushes they're incredibly pigmented they're super easy to blend um, I think they're like four dollars for one blush you get a huge pan so um, the, those are some great options if you're looking for a good drugstore blush but at the moment my absolute favorite are the Milani baked blushes um, and I have this one in the shade 03 and this is the Berry Amore one. Um, I love it just because it has a little bit of a gold reflex in it. And these baked blushes just give you such a nice sheen. They're not too much. I'm not like, actually that's a lie. I love blush. But I don't like anything too, uh, that looks like I just ran like four miles and my face is like completely red. I like something that gives you a nice glow. It makes you look really fresh face. Some, something that just like, really enhances your natural features. Um, and I feel like this blush currently is just giving me all the feels. I love it. So I'm just gonna go in with a pointed blush brush and I like to pull that blush back into my bronzer um, and just blend all of them together. And it just gives you such a pretty, pretty blush. Okay, so we're pretty much coming to an end with our face makeup. Um, the last thing is the most exciting thing and my one true love slash passion in life, and that would be highlighter. Um, so I'm taking my Wet n Wild Shimmer Palette, Two Reflex Shimmer Palette. I don't know what the hell this is called, um, but it's in the shade Boozy Brunch, and this looks horrifying. I know, it looks so bad, so scary. But I'm telling you, when you use this, I mean, it's so pretty. I love it, like, so much. It's such a good highlighter. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go in with this, and I'm just taking my Sephora highlight brush, nothing too exciting, and I'm just going to hit the tops of my cheekbones with this, and it just gives you such a pretty gold glow. I don't know if you can see that. 
and it just lays so nicely. It doesn't emphasize any texture or any flaws like that. It sits on top of any foundation beautifully. Gotta give myself some healthier mustache. Um, and I just love it. It's so flattering. It's such a pretty champagne-y gold color. Um, and I need to stop because less is more, but. All right guys, so this concludes my easy drugstore foundation face tutorial. Um, this is a super easy, simple, short video, but I just thought maybe some of these products can help you out at the drugstore when you don't know what to pick up, what's good or what's not. Um, I've been using these products for probably a year or so, I would say. Um, I love them all. They're super great, super affordable. I don't think I used anything over $10 today, which is so awesome. So yeah, if you want to see more drugstore looks, then let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Until next time.